back guys. Well, today I'm out in the yard doing a little bit of gardening and I wanted to share with you a really cool experience that I had. Basically in the house I found a bumblebee and it was in distress. So I think it came, you know, from my basement area. It was uh, hibernating over the winter time and essentially came out of hibernation, came up through my vent and had no energy reserves left. And of course, I don't really have a lot of plants in my house, so it was just on its last legs, quite literally. Um, it had no energy, it was zipping around its back, couldn't fly, looked like it was dying. So I, I sprung to action, I brought it outside and gave it a little bit of honey water. Let's take a peek at what happened. Just got this bee in my house and it's pretty lethargic. Just gonna try to give it a little bit of sugar water here, see what happens. It's drinking. Isn't that cool being nourished by its own honey? These guys are really depleted from energy at this time of year, so every year I find them kind of like having issues and looking like they're dead in the floor, and then you give them this and they come back to life. Pretty cool. You can kind of see its little proboscis coming out and it's drinking up some uh, more of the honey water that I put in front of it. Now it probably just has to warm up a little bit to be able to fly off. You can see he's breathing a little bit quicker, quicker than it has been, so I think it's getting more energy. So it's looking like it's ready and just seconds away from flying off. Time elapsed now has been about, I don't know, three to five minutes. Oh, look at that. It's amazing how quick that honey works to give him some energy. Whoa. Hee <laughs> hee. Whoa. Ah! There it goes, look at that. <laughs> so bumblebees are one of the first pollinators uh, that you see in, uh, in the springtime and sort of the last one you see out in the fall. They're a chubby little bee that has sort of these pollen sacs on its legs. And bees are really, really important, you know, especially for agriculture. Um, you know, majority of the plants that we have right now and crops we have require an insect to fertilize them. Uh, through pollination so that they can produce a seed or a fruit that you know we can enjoy uh, later on. We are seeing bee decline uh, across uh, this country and, and others as well. Some of the main threats to bees are habitat loss, habitat fragmentation, um, you know things also like pesticide and insecticide use and also something called colony collapse disorder which is caused by protozoa that infects the digestive system of bees. And, uh, you know, so bees are pretty important. So it's pretty important to me just to save this one little bee. So what's really special is that bee was actually the female queen bee. It's only the queen bees that overwinter or hibernate. The, uh, the male drones, they, they die off. So the female that I rescued there was really important because she's gonna go on, produce eggs, that produce larvae, produce pupae, and produce more adult bees to help pollinate the flowers in my garden and my veggie plants. So pretty important, you know, saving one life at a time, you know, <laughs> doing my part. So anyways, just want to let you know that, you know, if you do see a bee like that, um, that looks like it's just sort of a uh, buzzing around on the ground, not doing very well, you just give them a little bit of honey or, you know, sugar water in a spoon and that's all they need to get them going. So what else can you do to help the bees this time of year? So we take a look down here, there's something I don't do this time of year and that's mow my lawn. So I like to leave out the, uh, the dandelions and, you know, the beautiful, um, violets here for the bumblebees and the bees because this is their first food this time of year and if you mow your grass too early they're not going to have a lot of flowers to to get their energy from because you know when they collect the pollen they also collect nectar and bumblebees make a little bit of honey as well and that helps nourish uh, the growing bees. I'm also one of the first people on the block to sort of plant some flowers as well 
and that's really important to uh, to give the bees some food as well from the nectar. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. You know, bees are such an important part of our natural world. You know, they really are responsible for, you know, helping put food on our table. If we didn't have the insects and the bees, uh, we would not have the food that we have, to be honest. There'd be no, you know, feed for the cattle, for our meat. There'd be no vegetables, fruit, seeds. So we really have to take care of our insects and a lot of people forget about that. So doing my part today, one little bumblebee saved. So uh, yeah, if you find a bumblebee like that, uh, don't hesitate to put a little bit of honey and water in a spoon and help them along. And don't forget to delay your lawn mowing for a little bit in the spring so that they can enjoy the nectar and get some energy from the very first flowers of the springtime. All right, if you guys have any questions, leave them below in the comments. Don't forget to like and share, and I will see you guys next week. Have a good one.